you're this perp back with another video and i wasn't really going to review this constantly but if y'all would do me a solid and hit that like button if i can get like at least just like 20 likes on this you know what i'm saying i will put out an episode five next week because this show has definitely gotten interesting i know it's been pretty mixed with a lot of people some people just don't like it think it's trash um i feel like the first three episodes are a really good setup for what's to come especially getting into this episode because i'll say so far this is the best one so far so far but other than that i like that we're diving more into peacemaker and who he is as a character and his relationship with his father but pretty much this episode picks up where the last one left off where you know they got judo master he's pretty much like just tied down they gotta kind of keep an eye on him and they need to figure out this whole butterfly butterfly situation and i really like how they're utilizing the butterflies because you don't know who it could be it could be anybody that's where things get really interesting but that aside real quick let's talk about peacemaker himself uh chris smith because we get a lot of information especially that like cool fucking door that has like pretty much a whole layer in it it's like this interdimensional quantum thing whatever so that's fucking interesting to me also we find out that peacemaker had a brother that died uh that's fascinating find out also that peacemaker's father was like a super villain named the white dragon and i like how throughout the years um he's kind of held all this stuff in and amanda waller's daughter pretty much like um kind of can see that kind of see that like you know your dad's an asshole you need to just like let him go and you see that peacemaker just has this real connection to his father regardless of how he really is or how he even brought him up because he taught him how to kill at a very young age and we do get to see that but then we got a lot more vigilante in this episode and vigilante is a very dope character definitely my favorite character out of all the different characters i like peacemaker as well but i find um vigilante to be very interesting because he is a very loyal like friend he's a better friend to peacemaker than eagle is even though eagle eagle is just an eagle um to show his alliance because amanda waller's daughter has this conversation with vigilante and she feel she sees that peacemaker's weakness is his father so she kind of kind of already is like amanda waller in a way in this episode you see a little glimpse of that where she kind of gets this idea that she wishes that peacemaker's dad can go away because he's racist you know what i'm saying she he, she doesn't really like him so then vigilante gets himself arrested so he can go confront peacemaker's father and pretty much try to kill him but what he doesn't know which uh we find out by uh Mern at some point in the episode that his father is a trained killer and i want I, i'm wondering if we're going to see him in the actual white dragon suit or is somebody else from peacemaker's past going to pop up and try to take that suit or something like that i don't know it, it makes sense why his hair is the way it is now it's it's pretty funny um the humor was kind of subtle in this it's still goofy as hell but i feel like they kind of dialed it down a bit compared to the first three um so yeah vigilante ends up fucking things up because earlier also in the episode peacemaker finds out that his father you know is locked up and it's all because of die beard <laughs> but this is all supposed to be a secret mission and pretty much vigilante kind of made things worse by kind of blowing their cover even though he kind of uh already figured it out and it's interesting that peacemaker's dad's into the deep state stuff and, and just 
that's that's just really fascinating. A lot of interesting things are going on, and I like the world building. I also like that um, the one scene where Peacemaker takes uh, kind of a dig at uh, at Batman and just his philosophy on how he deals with his supervillains and stuff like that by locking them up just so they can ex- escape again. Taking kind of little jabs at uh, Snyder and his portrayal of Batman. So there's a lot of dope things going on in this fourth episode. So let me know how you guys feel about it um, overall. There's a lot of interesting things going on, especially with uh, the reveal of Mern's character, that he's pretty much a butterfly. I think a lot of people could kind of suspect that he's always been kind of weird to me. So we'll see where that goes because there's a lot of interesting things building up and we're halfway through the series so far so it can only go up from here or even just go down so i enjoyed this episode for the most part a lot of information um about just peacemaker and just who he is and i i want to see more of that and this is how you deal with flashbacks you just get into it really quickly you kind of just tease it and then just you know move along so we can let the story progress you know a lot of other shows can learn from that just saying um i could see some people not liking this episode as well like i said i I think a lot of people would possibly check out after the first or even the third episode even though i think by the third episode that's where things really get interesting and really um start to get going and whatnot but if you've seen this let me know in the comments below how you felt about this episode until next time i'm out